Hey, Cameron. Hey, man. Going, man. Good. Welcome to Power Files, guys. Uh, Cameron, thank you for coming out, man. Um, really excited to be here in the City of Meadows. Uh, so just a little bit about Cabo Bob's guys. So Cabo Bob started in 2008. Um, we're fairly new to the Houston market. Uh, super excited, especially being in Metal's Place. I've heard a lot about Metal's Place. I heard it to the Titan Day community and we are so excited to be here. Um, but yeah, back to uh, Cabo Bob's and who we are. Started in 2008, um, based out of Austin. Um, so if you, I'm gonna go and talk about a little bit about the restaurant and just every little detail. But uh, the first thing that people ask all the time is, who's Bob? Who's Bob? People always ask who's Bob, and a lot of times people uh, ask if I'm Bob. But, <laughs> but I'm not Bob, my name is Jeremiah. I'm the GM of this location. Um, but quick story, if you wanna look over here, Cameron, uh, we have a, actually a story that says, um, the story of Cop Bob, who is Bob. So, Bob really is a character, uh, spirit of many characters. It's someone who really um, lives a life, a stress-free life, um, someone with no worries, someone that is just living life uh, without worries, you know, just just living it up, you know? Um, but yeah, so, um, as you can see, um, if you look down on the floor right here, um, everything from, from the floors to the surfboards uh, to the blue ceiling tiles, the, the tables, um, everything resembles a beach. You know, it's uh, originated, originated um, and roots from Baja California. Um, so, the story behind it is, um, you know, it was like I said, it was originated in Baja California, and um, as you can see, the sand, the, the floor resembles the sand. You know, it's the color of sand. You just have different vibes to this restaurant over here. Um, we have a bureau. Um, so, funny story. Every single restaurant in Cabo Bob's has um, a mural that resembles a beach in, in Cabo. So this beach right here is called um, Old Man Beach. Uh, and as you have, if you go to every single restaurant in um, that Cabo Bob's has, there'll be a different, a different mural um, resembling a different beach. But, uh, but yeah, so back to uh, uh, who we are. We're the fourth location actually in Houston. So there's one on Fountain View. Uh, there's one off of uh, 1968 Cutter Road. Um, there's one also in, off of Mason Road in Katy. And now this one in Meadows Place. So there's four restaurants in Houston now. There's four restaurants in Austin and one in San Antonio. So super excited to be here. And this is just the beginning. So if you want to walk over here, um, over here on this side, uh, we have our drink station. Um, we have we use our own version of uh, uh, use our own version of drinks. Uh, we use a company called Double Bottom Company. Uh, so we have Dr. Baja, Capo Cola, Cherry Lime, Grapefruit, Water, Lemon Lime, Rojito Red Soda. So a lot of people usually ask what is what, but easy comparison: Dr. Baja, Dr. Pepper, Capo Cola, it's Coke. Cherry lime is just cherry lime, mate. Got grapefruit, a lemon lime, I would compare it to like a Sprite. Uh, Rojito red soda, I would compare it to a Big Red. Um, one of the things that we're really, really, really um, proud of and what we offer and we're pretty famous for it is our 66 sauce. So this sauce is super good. If you like hot stuff, 66, mango habanero extra hot is super good. So we use uh, chipotle peppers, we use ancho peppers, we use uh, habanero peppers, everything that we use is fresh. Uh, we use fresh ingredients just to make this sauce. So we have um, the 66 extra hot um, and the 66 regular. So this is a little less hot, this is hotter. So this is definitely the hotter sauce of, of, of the two. Um, but yeah, so if you keep walking over back to the drinks, um, we do offer mint sweet tea, mass mint sweet tea, unsweet tea, and Gatorade. Uh, but if you do come, one of the things that I would definitely recommend is the Mad Sweet Tea. So if you come over here, you got to make sure that you try the Mad Sweet Tea. That's the best drink to get whenever you're eating either a burrito, a bowl, or taco. So I um, can't tell you the recipe, but all I'm going to tell you is a 
very, very delicious, uh, sweet minty, very refreshing, has a different kick to it. Um, a lot of people, when they, whenever they first hear it, they're like, they're kind of iffy about it, but I can promise you, you won't regret it. Um, but yeah, and over here we see over here, we also have a story, the old man's tale story. Um, if you want to read it, um, it, it's cool. It's very unique to, to uh, this location. And as I mentioned earlier, every single location has um, their own version of uh, their own beach in every single uh, restaurant. So this will mean the old man's beach. If you come over here, um, you can also, there's also other variety of drinks. We have uh, water, we have a couple of Chico's. As you see right here, you can pick them out. We have uh, Waterloo's right here, different flavors. We got black cherry, we have pineapple, we have watermelon, we have Mexican Coke's right here. Uh, and then we have different flavors, of um, how do you do? So we have pineapple, we have uh, strawberry, we have fruit punch, we have uh, tamarindo, and we also have uh, are also more Mexican folks up here. So now to the good part, um, is the food. So whenever you come into a Cabo Bob, this is where the line starts. You come through this line and you meet right here. This is Zach, by the way, guys. Uh, this is our presser. Um, so you start right here. This is where you, where everything starts. You engage with him. He'll ask you well, what you want. Um, but one of the things that uh, I always recommend is our bot special. So for a first timer, it's really, it can be a little overwhelming because uh, there's a lot of options that we have. Um, we have bowls, we have tacos, we have burritos, we have salads, we have quesadillas, we have nachos. But for a first timer, like I was saying, I was always recommend the bot specials. So these are specials that you don't have to change at all. Um, they're set ingredients, um, everything's perfect just the way it is. So, have problems, you know, deciding what kind of uh, what to get. If you're in the size like me, this is the way to go. So any of these specials you can get as a um, as a boat, as a taco, as a uh, as, as a salad, or uh, as a burrito. So Zach, you can make me a number seven and a number two. So yes, sir. So one of the things that really differentiates us um, from everyone else in the competition. Um, is our tortillas. So our tortillas are pressed right in front of you. Uh, we throw them on a rolling mall as, as you can see it spins around so you can see it. Uh, and like, like I said, we press them right in front of you so it can't get fresher than that. You know? So uh, we have four different flavored tortillas. So if you want to look up here, we have buttermilk, we got ancho, we got smoky cheddar, cilantro, and we do have corn options as well. So the corn, uh, we don't have corn burritos, but it's only offered for corn uh, for the tacos. So the number seven, which is what I asked for, it comes on an apple chili tortilla. Uh, we have our option of white rice, brown rice. Um, so the white rice does have some cilantro with some lime juice. The brown rice just has cilantro. Uh, we have black beans, baja beans, and pinto beans. So everybody knows the black beans, pinto beans, most things for our, our baja beans. So our baja beans is a combination of four different beans. You have black beans, you have kidney beans, you have baby beans, and you have pink beans with some cilantro, celery, super good. So if you come, you have to try that. So, um, so yeah, so we're opening actually Monday, this Monday, uh, 27. So our hours of operation are from 10.30 to 9.05. So a lot of people ask why we do the 905. So I don't know if you've ever been to a restaurant or a, or any type of food establishment that closes at 9 or 10, but a lot of times it closes towards a little early, but here we give that five extra minutes so that we can come into the world and try our food. Um, so yeah, so we have steak, yeah, so we got sauteed veggies over here. Uh, we have poblanos, uh, sauteed squash and zucchini, some grilled onions chicken, brisket, pork. Uh, we have all these fresh ingredients, a lot of options to choose for. Um, and this is the best part. So if you gotta make sure if you come to Cabo Bob, don't leave without trying our chips and chips. It's so delicious. I promise you, you won't regret it. It's the best guess that you'll ever taste. And right now, I'm actually have, we have batch cooking up right now, so I'll show you the whole process right now as well. So if you walk over here, um, this is another thing that really sets us apart, our, our sauces. So we got 
chipotle crema on toronto spicy jalapeno and as i mentioned already the 66 and extra hot we have the balsamic vinaigrette for the salads uh, we have some fresh squeezed lime juice so every day we squeeze fresh squeezed lime juice we don't use a gallon we cut the lemon we cut the limes and we squeeze them every single day and we use fresh squeezed lime juice for a lot of our recipes as well uh, so out of these my favorite personally is the chipotle crema it tastes great on the fish um, these are all pretty mild uh, sauces. The hottest ones I would say is the uh, Smoke 66 Extra Hot Habanero and the Spicy Hot Amazing. But yeah, that's uh, the build, they're building the number two. It comes with some cabbage, the mango pico, the guac, the cheese, all the uh, different uh, flavored tortillas, buttermilk, nacho chili, and cilantro tomatillo. Super good. That's actually my favorite for number two. So I would recommend that one every time. So over here is where you will get checked out. Um, cool thing about Cabo Bob's is that we offer these uh, these um, burrito cards. So it's it's a, like a, a punch system. So for every visit or for every entree that you um, buy, you get a punch. So if you fill this thing up, you get six punches for your next, your seventh visit, you get a uh, free burrito, or free, uh, free burrito, free taco, free entree, pretty much. So you can either choose from that or get one of our cool tie-dye shirts. We have different colors. Um, so they're pretty nice. A lot of people actually buy our shirts and we go through a lot of them actually. So we have this one. I'm gonna show you a couple. This one right here. And this one right here. Uh, so um, like I said, after your six, um, after, you, after you fill this up, you get one for free. Or you could also purchase one, which comes out to, don't know it by memory, but let me check. <laughs> No, it was like $14. $14. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> so, once, if you want to come over here, I'll give you a little tour of the kitchen. Uh, a little, you can zoom in on the food if you want. Very fresh ingredients. We got guac, our tomatillo sauces, our pico cheese, uh, the queso that I was talking about, um, grass fed beef uh, steak that we make here. We have the baja beans uh, with some cilantro, gorgeous of beans, like I mentioned. We have the white rice, brown rice. And over here, for all the magic cabinets, we have um, cooked all our steaks over here and our chicken. So another thing that separates us apart from everyone else is the way we cook our meats. So uh, we use these Kamado Joe, very famous. Uh, some come green, some come red. Um, we actually use also uh, charcoal. So this is actually what turned into charcoal. So it really gives it a different flavor. Uh, it it uh, really separates us apart from everyone else. So the flavor that you know, separates us from, uh, and it's very unique. But you gotta try the chicken steak, super delicious. We actually make our own chips as well. We cut the tortillas, the saute veggies if you want to zoom into that. season so if you are uh, you know looking for some fish options this is the place to come so the fish is super good very crispy so uh, like I said the number two the number three the number one super delicious really 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 good uh, so we come back this way we got a snack pressing some more tortillas um, right now we're gonna we're gonna pay them to the prep area uh, Again, as I mentioned, a lot of our food is, we put a lot of love and work into our food, you know. Uh, we are very, very prideful. We are very, very prideful of, uh, of what we do, you know. We put a lot of sweat and, uh, and blood into, into everything that we do. So uh, we really take pride in everything, um, you know, from the prayer, from, um, from everything, just everything that we do. So over here we got Alejandra. Um, making some queso. Like I said, we make our queso from scratch. So they don't come out, come out of a bag. Um, we melt the cheese in there, super delicious. We cut some of our cilantro here. Nothing comes out of a bag. Uh, even our cheeses, we shred them. 
Um, she's chopping the cilantro, we wash it, everything's washed, everything's fresh, we use the fresh ingredients. It's pretty much a scratch kitchen. Everything, everything is um, made from scratch. Over here, like I mentioned, we actually, you know, you make our own masa. So we have this whole bar machine where we make the dough and we have Angie and Angie doing the, the masa balls. Uh, we do that they, they eat every single day. We make fresh guac. We got Bertha making guac over here. Uh, Haas avocado is what we use. Uh, but this is a daily thing here at Cowboy Box. You know, it's the freshest ingredients, high quality products. Uh, you know, and really that's really what sets us apart. You know, I know I'm saying that, but I can't stress that enough. Uh, this is Francisco, by the way, just to oh, oh, San yeah. Francisco. Welcome, welcome, uh, but yeah, so this is this is the kitchen, this is the prep area. Um, if we come out this way, guys, um, let's wrap it up. You know, go here. A um, couple of things that I just want to mention, you know, about our restaurant. Um, you know, first of all, we're very fortunate to be in this, in this area. Uh, um, you know, we're excited to bring this new concept to Mel's Place, to Houston itself. Uh, there's a lot of new things that we're bringing to, to Houston, you know. Um, this Kawabob is actually the first Kawabob that has an actual drive through um, Something that we, we were testing, you know, we've never really, um, I guess, experienced or experimented with. So, um, you know, if you're that person that's just on the go, that wants to you know, pick up some, some food, some quick food, some quick, delicious, high quality food, you want some protein to cook to order and go through our drive through you know, Come on in, go to the drive thru But you know, if you want to come in and just enjoy our dining room, that's another, um, that's another, that's another option. Um, so another thing, guys, um, you know, the reason why I always, I love the drive thru but I always encourage people to come inside because that's where you see all the action. You see the first the, 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 the food, the tortillas, and making your food. But on top of that, it's just you know, if you look around, um, if you look around. You have just the vibe of it all. It's just very welcoming. You have TVs, you have four TVs where you can watch uh, your favorite games. A lot of times it's just uh, we have uh, the TVs on sports channels, so we're usually watching soccer games, football games, whatever's on, on any major game that's on. Um, we have wheelchair uh, accessible tables as well, which are these right here. Uh, we have one. Space for um, anybody that's in a wheelchair. Um, we have some high chairs, some booster seats as well. Um, everything you know for you guys to be comfortable and here with your family. Um, but yeah, it's an uh, Austin based restaurant. You know, we're Longhorn fans. Uh, so if you're a Longhorn fan, you're welcome here. If you're an Aggies fan, no, I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. But, uh, but, uh, but yeah, I mean, super excited, you know. Again, I'm, I'm the GM here. I'm looking forward to be part of the family, the Meadows family, and uh, I'm really looking forward to just interact with you guys. You know, I want to be part of the community. I want to do events with you guys. I want to, you know, just fully immerse myself into into this community, into the culture, and uh, really give back to you guys. You know, because everything that we do is because of you guys. If if we have a job, if my team has a job, it's because of you guys. And and our goal is to have happy guests, you know. We don't call our, our guests customers because, you know, you guys are our family. You know, when we invite, invite someone home, they're, they're our guests. So we want you guys to feel at home whenever y'all come in here. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. Um, when do you open? When are you going to be open? One more time. So we open on Monday. Can I order food to go? So you, you, you can order food to go. Um, you can order online. You could uh, order online and pick up the curbside um, or come inside and pick it up. You go to our drive-through line or you can just come inside and order the way we, um, we, we, we show you over here through the line. Um, but yeah, so 20, uh, 27th on Monday, uh, we'll open at 10.30, uh, 10.30 to 9.05. Uh, we're closed on Sundays actually, I forgot to mention that. Uh, we're closed on Sundays, we like to you know give our, our team a day off, you know, to recharge and get back at it on Monday. Uh, so close on Sundays, Monday through Saturday, 10.30 to 9.05. Um, 
but that's about it guys so I got some work to do I got a restaurant to open we're pretty busy so Cameron I'm sorry but I gotta kick you out man <laughs> yeah, thanks, thanks Jeremiah